Hi, Robiters. I'm Sammy. As you can see now, today we are going to make a really simple, basic rigid body animation in Blender. In this episode, I'm not going to talk about anything advanced, only fundamentals. So if you are a completely beginner, that's fine. Don't worry. So let's get started. In this animation, there are only two elements: the fallen cubes and the floor. So let's start with the cubes. I used a thousand cubes in the example animation, but I'm recording, so for safety, let's go for five cube. You can adjust your quantity based on your hardware. After using three array modifiers, I'm going to split. Those cubes into 125 separate cubes. So we're done here. Move to the floor. The floor is just a normal plan. So now we have all elements ready. Next step: rigid body settings. Woo! First, select a cube. The last tab on the right side. This is the physics simulation tab. You can find everything about physics simulation here. So let's check the rigid body on. There are tons of factors you can adjust here. The active option we can just leave it there because they are going to fall down, so it's active. Then down here, the collision, we choose cube because it's a cube, all right. Then down here, dynamics. These two factors are also interesting. We'll talk about them later. And up here, surface response. These two factors, friction and bounciness. By adjusting these four factors, you can get the result you want. So we just leave it here. Let's go to the floor. The floor is simple. Like the cube, we check the rigid body on and. We choose passive because it doesn't move. If we press space now, look, we've got a simple rigid body system. So the final step is make all cubes rigid body like the one we did. Okay, so now select all the cubes. Then up here, choose object and rigid body. Copy from active. Then we're done. Oh yeah, you can see right here. Every cube has the same settings, and let's see. The result it's so pleasing, but it's a little bit slippery, right? So we can adjust it by those four factors I mentioned before. It's obvious. It's the friction factors would do the job. So let's adjust it and see what happens. All right, now it's better. Let's adjust the other factors and see what will happen to the simulation result. We can try this jumping translation first, and this factors will affect the stickiness of the simulation. I guess you can see if I adjust it to like 0.2, I suggest. This value is 0.5, 0.2, something like that. Because when you drag it to one, then the simulation is just dead, just stick. Nothing will happen. So make sure you adjust it to the right value. The next one, rotation. Apparently, it's about rotation. So if you adjust this to one, the max. It will stick right there, like mud or slime, something like that. It all depends on the result you're looking for. So let's see the simulation. Now I change these two values back to normal. Let's see the bounciness factors right up there. It's about energetic, vivid, bouncing. You know that. And let's see the simulation result. That's all four factors you need to know to achieve this simple animation. So you can adjust these four factors, make the simulation you want. We're done. The final final step 
is to put the texture on the simulation result. Let's move the camera and we need to make sure the simulation result is fixed. We need to bake it and how to bake it? We have to go to the fourth tab on the right side again, the scene tab and there's a rigid body world. If everything is okay to you, then you can press the bake button and it's not permanent. You can delete the bake anytime. So just press back it. Then next time you open this file, the result is the same. All right. Since we already backed it, let's put some texture on it. So first thing is to UV on rabbit. We can go to the edit mode, then select all, then U, UV on rabbit, then project from view. This is the point. So the texture can place it on the view, the camera view. So the following steps are simple. For previewing the texture, you need to switch to the texture option on the upper right. Then we can adjust the UV, make sure my logo is shown properly. So here it is, the final result. Ta-da! Now it's additional time. So here is a simple test I did before. And it's about the weight effects the simulation. So here's a cube and a sphere. And now the sphere is 20 kilograms and the cube is 10. So now if I change the sphere to 2, as you see, actually we can do a lot of things with these settings. Just go ahead, be creative, right? It's the beginning of the rigid body simulation in Blender. Lots of lots of stuff you can play with. You already know the fundamentals and you can play around with your own creation. That's a wrap. This is Sami. I'm looking for world builders. I'll see you next time. Bye.